Jonathan Gavoni here of DraftExpress.com. We're here in Chicago at the NBA Combine with Patrick Patterson from Kentucky. Patrick, how is uh, the weekend going for you so far? The weekend has been a lot of fun, but also uh, very hectic as well. Introducing yourself to all these teams, having these scheduled meetings, um, talking, trying to impress them, answering the questions. Uh, it's definitely um, very challenging, but uh, then again, it's it's still fun. You keep it in the mind that um, it is a business, but uh, it's also, you know, you're trying to impress them. So as far as a basketball standpoint, uh, we've been out on the court for the first time today and doing the skills part, and uh, that was definitely fun, you know, being out there with uh, great players, uh, seeing them play and seeing them compete, and uh, just enjoying our time spent out there on the court. So uh, it was definitely challenging, definitely tough uh, matching up against other great players. But so far, it's been so good. What were you, what do you think you were able to show today at the combine? It's a little bit of a limited setting, no five on five play there. Do you think that you were able to show NBA GM stuff that they hadn't seen about you during the season? Uh, hopefully, you know, I'm hoping that I've showed uh, coaches, GM, scouts. Uh, things I haven't shown them in the past. I'm um, just trying to show them that I've improved on my jump shot. Ball handling is starting to come along. Um, I can defend on the perimeter. Uh, I can still run and transition. And uh, just mainly that uh, my overall game is just starting to increase. So I want to show them that my perimeter game is starting to improve. And not only am I the power force inside, uh, rebounding, scoring in the post, but also I can take my game to the perimeter. So out of the 14 players that are currently ranked in our, in our latest mock draft in the lottery, you're the only one that decided to actually do all of the basketball stuff today. Um, everything that, that was asked of you, essentially. Other guys picked and choose. One guy didn't do this. The other guy didn't do that. What, was your, what, you know, what did you base your decision on? Um, just that I want to, you know, I came here for one objective and one objective only, and that's to impress everybody. And in order to do that, I feel like I have to step it on the court, uh, show them my heart and my competitiveness um, in the interviews, uh, show them my intellect, uh, show them that uh, I've done things in my past as far as graduating in three years, as far as um, adapting to change well um, on and off the court and just show them that I'm a great team player. So I feel like that I have to show them uh, so much and so little time. So there's no time that I can waste. There's no time that I can pick and choose what I want to do. You know, I feel like I have to do everything in such a small and limited amount of time. I don't think all the teams were too happy with some of these other guys. Uh, for example, I heard that New Orleans decided to cancel their interviews with three of the players that pulled out. Um, does that justify the decision a little bit in your mind? Is that something that you agree with? Um, I don't know. I, I can't take their perspective, you know, because, you know, they're an organization and they're here for one reason, and that's to find somebody, you know. So, um you know, if that's what they want to do, that's on them, you know. But I feel like each person, you know, if they want to, whether or not, should do it, you know, should participate in the drills and uh, the interviews and all this, you know, because we're only here one time and one time only, so you might as well do everything instead of picking and choosing. But as far as New Orleans goes on their decision, you know, that's their decision, and they made it, you know, they're standing by it, you know, so obviously they have good reason to do it. So you guys got measured today. What can you tell us about the way that, that you measured out? Um, as far as my measurements go, um, six eight without shoes, uh, six nine, six nine and a quarter with shoes on, uh, weight two thirty five, uh, wingspan about seven foot two, maybe seven foot two and a half, and um, you know that was it. So uh, so far it's it's been good. Um, I was comfortable with it. I knew that I was six eight without shoes on, you know, and hopefully that I didn't shriek any. Hopefully I could have grown some, but uh, I'm comfortable with everything we went through, and uh, also we did body fat percentage, I forgot about that, and you know, that came out to I think about 5.4, 5.6, so all in all, I was satisfied with how today went. So I, I guess you didn't, not only did you not shrink, but you may have grown, because if, not my, if I'm not mistaken, you were listed as 6'8 by Kentucky for at least the beginning of your career, so uh, I guess, you know, 6'9 with a 7'2 wingspan, that's, that's legit size for an NBA power forward, definitely no concerns there, right? Uh, no concerns there at all. You know, uh, I'm hoping for one more inch. You know, I'd rather be 6'10 than 6'9, you know, but uh, I guess I have grown since I've been at Kentucky. You know, hopefully I can squeeze one more inch out. Right. 
Uh, this year, you made the transition from playing a lot of minutes at the five to pretty much spending a lot of your time at the four, and that included uh, shooting a lot more three-pointers than you had in your career thus far, which is something that you did successfully. I heard that you shot the ball really well at the combine today, too. Do you see that being uh, a bigger part of your game at the NBA level? Definitely. I'm hoping that my shooting ability is going to help me out in the NBA level. Uh, I feel that if I run a pick and, pick and roll or pick and pop with a team, um, we can use that to our advantage, you know, as far as me shooting a jump shot or switching on to a smaller player. Um, but overall, my shooting has increased, you know, by playing underneath Coach Calipari and by having DeMarcus and Daniel on my team, uh, that caused them to play the center and put me at the power forward position. And Coach Cal wanted me to be on the perimeter a lot. So we worked day in and day out. Uh, drills, footwork, shooting drills of me on the perimeter. And I think that definitely paid off in the season because it helped me, you know. I was able to hit the three, something I've never been able to do, and it just helped my confidence go through the roof. So I think my shooting has come a long way, and it's still improving. And today it showed a little bit, and hopefully uh, my shooting impressed a lot of people. What are some of the main things that you take away from playing under Coach Calipari, um, a guy with a lot of experience, has won quite a bit? Um, what, what did you learn from him? I learned that I should be myself. Um, don't try to be something I'm not. Uh, don't try to impress others. You know, just be yourself. And also, hard work, determination, have heart. And uh, most importantly, uh, he he's helped my confidence. Um, you know, by him encouraging me day in and day out, say with my teammates and him pushing me, it's caused my confidence to go through the roof. You know, it's caused me to believe more in myself on the court and especially off the court. So I just feel like by having him as my coach, he's made me a better person and a better athlete.